Show with Ian Flash and the News. Hello, welcome to Ninja Comic News at 6. And in today's news... Hi, I'm Ian Flash, and welcome to Ninja Comics News. And in today's news, a recent death... Hi, I'm Ian Flash, and this is Ninja Comics News at 6. In today's news, a re In today's news, a recent death in Devonshire sparks much controversy. Sparks much controversy. It, it, it's, about it's stuck. It's stuck. Oh, jeez. Sparks, mu sparks much controversy about an age-old curse that is said to be haunting the Baskerville family. Deal with going reports. <laughs> Knife me. Ah! Starting in 1742, when Hugo Baskerville died from a man-eating hound. Now, this hound has been said to be a curse to the Baskerville family for many generations. However, the death of Sir Charles Baskerville has brought up the story yet again. Here is a um, reenactment of Sir Charles' death. Holmes, the detective who solved this case first learned about the curse from Dr. Mortimer, who came to England to tell him about the curse. Shortly after, Watson and Henry, the next heir to the Baskerville family, went to, back to Devonshire. Watson there to investigate the curse. Watson was mistaken by a Mrs. Stapleton, who thought he was Henry Baskerville. Henry and Miss Stapleton walked together and were interrupted by a by Mr. Stapleton, who had a weapon and attacked him with it. Who attacked Henry with it? The weapon being a butterfly net. What? Is that right? Is that right? Yes, it's been fine. That's that. That's what happened. He was attacked with a butterfly. Yes. Shortly afterwards, Henry and Watson are told about the convict who is out on the moor. The convict being a man by the name of Selden. He later fell off the cliff and broke his neck because he, because he saw the hound, who was sent by Mr. Stapleton because he th because Stapleton thought on Selden was Henry. Oh. Yeah, you go down. Ah, gotcha. Holmes later found out that Mr. Stapleton was Roger Baskerville. He wanted the Baskerville Hall, so, and the only way to get it was to, in fact, kill Henry and Charles. Later on, he did eventually get the dog to attack the right person, Henry. But Holmes, Watson, and Lestrade, a policeman or detective, whatever, were there to defend Henry. All three of them shot at it, and Holmes successfully killed it. Now I have Dylan live with Sherlock Holmes. Dylan? Here I have Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock, how, what do you know about the Hound of the Baskervilles? Well, we found out that the Hound, not of mythical proportions, uh, uh, then we shot it and, uh, Sharon! 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 While there have been no recent deaths surrounding the Hound of the Baskervilles, there have been sightings of the dog, even though Holmes sh said he shot it dead. <laughs> Dylan Gordon, Ninja Comic News. Wait a minute. Dylan, didn't you say your last name used to be Baskerville well, before you changed it because you found out about the curse? Yeah! Oh crap! Dylan? Dylan? Did we lose him? Alright. Well, before we go to our commercial break, let's check on Keith of the weather. Keith? Wendy! That's Sherlock? <laughs> okay. 
before we come back. A farmer claims that his animals have taken over his farm. His story next. Do it! Do it! Do it! It all started in 1742 when Hugo Bastardo died from a manning shark. There sparked much controversy about an angel of curse. <laughs> About an